Uh, some of those business owners feel they're now forced to take matters into their own hands, even paying private security out of their own pockets. And now we get to our Liz Birch, who talked with the people at the Lansu Chinese Gardens today. And Liz, so have they ever had to hire armed security before this? Elizabeth, no, this is the first time in their 21 year history they've had to consistently hire armed security, all because of those problems in Old Town. Lan Su Chinese Gardens executive director says when they reopened their doors after closing for the pandemic, they came back to homeless encampments surrounding them. I also worry about what my staff is feeling. They are traumatized daily by what they are seeing on the streets. She tells me they had consistent break-ins and threats to staff. They saw drug use around them constantly. I think the other thing that um, we're concerned about is just um, the state of everybody in this community, um, the mental health issues, the behavioral health issues, the psychotic episodes that we're seeing. It's um, aggressive, it's erratic, it's random, and we don't, mm -hmm. we don't know what we can do to keep ourselves safe. All that led to the spending decision to hire that armed security, coming at a time when their membership is down 50% because people tell them they just don't feel safe coming to visit Old Town. The security costs alone have been um, a huge hit to our budget. We also, when I just think about how much time our staff spends mitigating some of the things that we're experiencing, the graffiti removal almost daily, um, we ha um, our staff is out every single morning and evening picking up the trash that's all over um, our sidewalks. Uh, they are repairing front doors that have been damaged by people throwing um, and hitting them with rocks. Other businesses in Old Town told us following a July shooting that injured six and killed one that violent crime has gotten out of hand here within the last year. Today, the University of Oregon here tells me they've increased safety measures for their Portland campus. Nye says it's time for city leaders to take action for everyone's sake. The situation specifically in Old Town, Chinatown, requires a level of urgency that I haven't seen yet. And I did just hear back from police. They say they staff Old Town more than any other part of town, but they did bring up their staffing issues and say that makes it hard for them to do proactive police work. You can read their full statement on coin. Dot com and city council did address some of these concerns in their meeting yesterday. We covered that as a story also right now on coin.com. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.